Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. At this time, we ask if you could take a few moments to please silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch. Our opening hymn is found in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 691, Lord, you give the Great Commission, number 691. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries today, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to forgive us for the times we have failed to be merciful and compassionate to others. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words, or else 
he will rebuke you, and you will be found a liar. Two things I ask of you. Do not deny them to me before I die. Remove far from me falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that I need, or I shall be full and deny you and say, Who is the Lord? Or I shall be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. The word of the Lord. The response to Psalm 119, Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. The Lord is my portion. I promise to keep your words. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Lord, how I love your love. Let your steadfast love become my comfort according to your promise to your servant. Let your mercy come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, how I love your love. Your decrees are wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. Lord, how I love your Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus called the twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, Take nothing for your journey, no staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave them, leave from there. Wherever they do not welcome you, as you are leaving that town, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. And they departed and went throughout the villages, bringing the good news 
and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Whenever most of us set out on a journey, we plan ahead and make sure to bring what we think we are going to need. And many of us, like myself, end up bringing stuff that we never use. It seems strange to our ears to hear Jesus say to the 12 apostles as he sends them out to share in his mission of proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. He says, take nothing for your journey. Why does Jesus send them out in such an important journey, so vulnerable, with so little to fall back on? Perhaps it was his way of teaching them to rely more on God and less on themselves. He wanted them to trust that God would provide for them, especially in and through those households who would welcome them and extend hospitality to them. There are times on our, all of our lives' journey when we sense our own vulnerability for whatever reason. We may have lost a significant person in our lives. Our health may be failing us. Our financial situation may have deteriorated suddenly, various crises like that. At such moments, if we are people of faith, we find ourselves having to rely more on God and on Jesus. It doesn't mean we do nothing in response to the situation. The disciples in today's gospel reading had something to do. They had to proclaim the good news, the gospel, and exercise the power Jesus gave them to heal the brokenhearted and the broken in body, mind, and spirit. Yet in, great, in moments of great vulnerability, everything we do needs to be a great act of trust that the Lord will ultimately provide for us because we do not journey alone. The Lord Jesus journeys with us and he journeyed with the pairs of the disciples on their mission. He journeyed with, like, just like you journey with two sad disciples on the way to Emmaus after the crucifixion. The Lord is always at work in bringing new life out of our experiences of loss, including our final experience of loss at the end of our earthly lives. The church is the body of Christ, and we're all members of the body of Christ. And each member has much to give others and much to receive from others. We are interdependent on the shared journey of faith that we all have. The Lord has much to give others to us and much to give us through others. Our prayers of intercession today. For Holy Father, Pope Francis and Peter, our Archbishop, and all those who lead and guide our church in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the bishops of Canada gathering at St. Anne de Beaupre this week for their meetings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in our world, especially in the Holy Land and in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick recommended to our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all those who have died, we pray especially today for Genevieve Mean, for Elmer Call, Joe Lake, and Walter Carroll. For these and all those who have died in the peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for your own intention today at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. And God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. And we make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Wash away our iniquity, cleanse our 
us of our sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the body of Jesus. Let us pray. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these sacred mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest a resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. <laughs> Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember your servant Genevieve, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially members of the mean and rich families. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Cosmas and Damien, St. Francis of Assisi, St. John the Baptist and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. baptized children of God, we pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, the people of God, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord, be with you always. And with your spirit. We share the peace of Christ now with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is found in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 603, Gift of Finest Weight, number 603. Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, our saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. You satisfy the hungry heart. With gift of finest wheat, come give to us, O oh saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift 
lips we sing to you. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this blessed sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our lives, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is found in Celebrate in Song. It's number 6.28. Go make of all disciples. 6.28. <laughs> Son and Spirit, from age to age the same. We call each new disciple to follow you, O Lord, redeeming soul and body by water and the word. Go make of all disciples we at your feet would stay until each life's vocation accents your 